Welcome to Dark Sorcery. I'm Alfredo Martinez, and I have with me the one and only Katna Willis. How you doing, Katna? How you going, Alfredo? How you going, guys? And so we're on our uh, sixth video of Yule, and we're going to be talking about sacrifice today. So uh, how about giving us an overview of sacrifice, Katna? Okay. Uh, most uh, cultures, right, they love to do a lot of sacrifices, as you can see and hear things all over the media, whatever you hear about it. And you're wondering, why do they do it, you know? Again, yeah. energies. That's what they're doing it for. It's a lot of energy that comes out uh, of sacrifices and you're using it towards the ritual or spell to add more um, oomph to, to it, pretty much. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so you, you, that's, that's pretty much why they uh, um, do sacrifices and that, because they know it's a really good uh, power-up to uh, uh, use on their spells and rituals. So, yes, that's yeah. pretty much what really sacrifices, uh, why they do it for is to collect energy. <laughs> yeah, it's also um, about abandoning energy so that they can absorbing the energy so that they can do their work. They do need the energy absorbed. But that's quite a bit, uh, quite a big amount of energy that you're absorbing from sacrifice. Yes, because right? uh, you, what 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 you're asking for, whether it's big, uh, whatever it is that you're asking for, right? The more that you're asking for, the more energy you require. So that's why a sacrifice is more for bigger goals bigger bigger wishes yeah? yeah so the more energy you have the more powerful it's going to get in so yeah there's no more need to say on that one so yeah <laughs> so yeah <laughs> and then you would also and then about smoke don't you need a, a big amount of smoke after you do a sacrifice Yes, uh, of course, uh, you stick to the, uh, uh, we've got to add that to when you stick into a sacrifice, you do it from left to right, just like when you're cleansing a house or putting a protection sp a spell on, you know, right. uh, the hand of the clock. Actually, if you actually look on on the other side of the point of view of the clock, if it was you, you know, you'll see it's left to right, uh, to right, you know, it goes left to right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, stick to the left to right if you do any type of sacrifices because, yeah, uh, you want the energy line to be compatible. So you you don't want it to be like I'm saying if you switch a battery, if you put a, got a toy and you put a battery in and you and you turn it the other way, you know, it's not, it's, it's going to, you, you see what I mean? The friction is yeah. going to counter attack. Yeah, it's not, it's not going to work. But if you follow the path line, so that's why we say that's why uh, some cultures, they even uh, before they have their meals, they would chant something before they would slit the animal's throat before they have their meal. You know, you get those uh, religions that they do that. And right. um, <clears throat> they always do it from, uh, uh, they do it also from left to right as well. And that, and as well as some other religions do their, some sacrifice their lambs, you know, as you see some cultures do lamb sacrificials you know you always notice that they always do the left to right because they follow the energy line okay so it, it's more to do with uh, getting that energy and that pathway uh, towards that uh, whatever spell you're doing or whatever um, on the right track you know, going f flowing like a river you know you don't want to flow up the river <laughs> you want to go flow with the river yeah yeah so um and smoke, uh, the uh, the smoking. You were just saying yes, the smoke. Uh, whatever you're doing with sacrifice, you have a lot of smoke. So this is not recommended for indoors with smoke alarms. So if you got smoke alarms, that get rid of it, guys. You need a lot of smoke to get rid of whatever you're doing to cleanse it all off, because you don't want any of that on you know, to bring back home or whatever you're doing. So yeah. So uh, that's for the smoke. You, that that's how you get off all that negative because smoke smoke cleanses, you know. And don't forget to bathe, cleanse, cleanse and water. Uh, you got your, you know, all your, your charged waters, you know. So make sure you you really got to clean yourself off after you're done. 
Um, yes. So uh, also uh, uh, um, flowers. You can even right. sacrifice. It's like you don't need to sacrifice animals. You can even sacrifice plants. Go get a pop plant, right? You can even, when you're doing a spell, kill it. Because, especially when it's young, you get the power energy line, right? The rest of it will go into your spell. So whatever timeline they had left they were supposed to have, you just sacrificed it, grab the rest of their energy, and put it towards whatever you spell you have. Remember, the bigger you want, the more energy you need. That's why they go the bigger. That's why you, if you're going to, let's just say if you want to learn, uh, like if you really got a success where you want to um, be on top, be number one, you know. So let's just say if you really want to be number one, you really have to go bigger scale of energy to get there, you know, because it's yeah. like, uh, yeah, to climb to get to uh that much luck you need a lot of energy because don't forget gods and deities demons jinns whatever spirit in the earth or in the spirit world they are after energy the more you provide and sacrifice because sacrifice is the biggest energy because not only you get sacri um, the sacrifice energy of the, the rest of their timeline you're also getting blood uh we'll talk about it in that in another Day, maybe <laughs> so we won't go there uh but sacrifice so yeah sacrifice uh really is um people do use it yes as you can see so cause of energy yes. and uh i mean sacrificing it doesn't necessarily have to be you know like lambs or it could be something as simple as uh, fish even using having a fish tank around yes that's right so it's uh, if you're because uh, if you're going to be using a lot of um, deities in your magic, you know, uh, or if you're going to be using a lot of spell work in your life, so uh, it's nice. It's or, or it's good to have a fish tank next to your uh, altar. Um, so uh, this is for people who are doing dark magic, by the way. <laughs> um, who's got no problems and yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, it's good to have a fish tank near your altar. So when every time they need an energy, it will sacrifice your fish. You actually sacrifice them because well, so after you finish your doing your spell, you wake up in the morning on, or something and you realize your fish is dead because the energy when it comes to your altar, because don't forget all spirits and that they see the altar first. That's, you know, that's their, like a like a signal that or a place where they go straight away to you know when they come to your place because you're like the altar table is like hey this is where I'm at you know because that's where your candles and and the flames are or whatever or uh, a smoke whatever then you know they like oh they go straight to your altar you know and then they're mm -hmm. like oh I need energy you want me to get energy and then they normally go to whatever is closest that is not protected so you put. So they'll normally go to that fish tank because if you put it next to the altar, you'll notice that one of your fishies would die. <laughs> but hey, if you rather have your fishy die than getting one to use or one of your kids or one of your uh, beloved cat and dog, you know, you can even put a protection spell on that. But uh, fishes, you can get those little small ones as long as it's a lot, you know. So you can even yeah. put pot plants in that. But do take note, if you do put pot plants in that, you know it's going to die. <laughs> Because they absorb the energy. So one day you're like watering it every day. Why is it dying? It's because it's sucking all that energy, all the goodness out of that. So, and, 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 and if you notice that your house, like if you leave uh, fruit out or, or, or bread out and it starts to mold real quick in the day, you don't realize that there's something out there that's sucking up all the energy. Or maybe even yourself is sucking up energy. You don't realize it, that you need energy and you're sucking it up, you know. And of course, eating food is fuel, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, but with, uh, we'll stop to there because we're going off subject from sacrifice. So, <laughs> yeah, that's why we'll save those for another, uh, another, another video, another day. It looks like that's a, a good amount of information on sacrifice. Um, and so we'll go ahead and leave that right there and then, uh, tune in, uh, tomorrow we go in our uh, seventh day of 
our Yule series. Have a good night, everyone. Later.